of the vegetable garden. See here we have uh, two water lines. One of them comes out and goes over to this header and uh, coming off the header are about six uh, individual soaker hoses that run out throughout the garden there. And then also I have one other hose that comes out and I use this just to uh, water in the seedlings. I try and water them in each morning and then each evening just to keep them wet so that they uh, will germinate. But uh, down at this end, I have a trellis set up uh, for the cucumbers, and uh, they've all got up to be about four inches now, seem to be doing fairly well. Uh, here's a little implement that I like to use to weed the garden, and I just took a little flat piece of metal and sharpened it on one side, and uh, then took a couple of hose clamps and put it in a, a handle of a, of a hoe or a rake, and then uh, I use this just to kind of sweep underneath the uh, little plants and that seems to disrupt them enough to where that they don't come back so it's real easy to work with them when they're small so uh, that's one of my implements that I like to use now uh, on, along this side I've planted uh, some onions these are left over from last year I uh, planted some this year but I kind of forgot about the little onion set in the garage for about a month and so they're in pretty rough shape right now hopefully they'll be able to make it come back up a soaker hose down at this end and then in the individual little coiled areas there are herbs planted uh, in this case there's some tarragon uh, it's real tiny tiny little seeds I don't know if you can see these uh, coming up or not but they are just tiny tiny little things and then uh, over here is some sage and I think just a few of those are starting to come up and then in this next spot is some uh, basil over here we have some parsley and uh, you can probably see it's coming up a little bit right there and then back behind that is some uh, curly leaf parsley I think and then over there is some thyme uh, further back some uh, oregano and then way in the back back there is some coriander and uh, so anyway in this first space between these uh, first two soaker hoses uh, there are a gourmet greens mixture of different types of I don't know lettuce I believe is what it is so you can see I've planted this and uh, kept it wet for the first 10 days at least in the morning and the evening and it's coming up pretty well uh, the next couple of rows is uh, made up of pepper plants these first 12 plants are jalapenos and then these a little bit bigger plants they are the bell peppers so I've got two rows of those and I'm gonna step across here and uh, this next row over here is going to be the squash it's uh, where the three sisters are planted and uh, here's just an example you can kind of see the circle around this squash is little Kentucky Wonder pole beans and then next to it is some corn and so kind of all circled around this uh, is the three sisters basically and the uh, squash is supposed to shade the uh, roots of the bean plants and the corn from this Texas summer sun and uh, then the, the uh, pole beans are supposed to climb up the corn so we'll uh, see how that all works out here in the next few weeks uh, a little further down here we've got some eggplants it uh, really likes some warm weather and it's kind of taken a beating in this first little bit of spring. It's been kind of cool. But I think it's uh, starting to warm up now. We're starting to have upper 70s, lower 80s. Uh, and here you can see some peas that are just starting to come up and they've got their little bit of tendrils starting to wrap around the trellis. So they are going to be climbing up this trellis here, uh, hopefully before long. And then down at this end uh, of the garden here, these uh, last six plants are poblano peppers. And they are a, uh, a little larger, a little bit hotter than a, a jalapeno. Uh, but they have some really good flavor. And then back on Valentine's Day, I put in these uh, new potatoes. So they've popped up and seem to be doing fairly well at this time. Then on the far side, I have a, tele a trellis straight staked up. And these are... Uh, Romano tomatoes these first six I had a little space left so I jammed them in here they're probably on about 15 inch centers and then the celebrity tomatoes they are spaced on 24 inch centers 
but you can see that they are most of them are doing fairly well at this point there's one that's even got a little bit of a, a flower already starting on it so hopefully we'll have a tomato before too long it's been a while since I had salsa all the way back of last year when we had that fresh salsa so I'm looking forward to that these are some leftover peas from last year uh, as you can see they are going uh, to flower now and uh, they started even making some more little peas and uh, I don't expect to get much of a mess of these but I uh, I do like to just when I'm out here weeding in the mornings I'll snap one of those off and then wash it off and then eat it and they are really nice and crispy and fresh I had a little uh, cut worm that got into the garden and it cut off two of my tomato plants but I found it and uh, fed it to the chicken so hopefully we won't have any more trouble from that cut worm and uh, this is some coriander uh, cilantro that is left over or went to seed last year and as you can see now it's once again it really enjoys the winter weather uh, it is now flowering and getting ready to go to seed again so but I've also planted some more just uh, in case so that it'll all be ready at the same time as the tomatoes but uh, anyway that is uh, a tour of the garden on this Easter day 2010 uh, hope you all have a great Easter and uh, a great spring and uh, we'll see you in a few weeks